Hello and welcome back audience, my name is Massive Brad and welcome back to my FIFA 20 Dortmund career mode. Now before we get into today's episode, I just want to say a huge big thank you for love and support on the channel and as always guys at the start of today's episode, we're quickly going to look at the games that lie ahead. Up first, we're away from home in the Bundesliga taking on SC Paderborn which we did decide we were going to simulate at the end of the last episode. We then move on to take on Liverpool for the second leg in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We absolutely smashed them. 3-1 in the first leg, so I am very excited to be playing the second leg against them and potentially giving ourselves a place in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League. And then to end on today's episode, we're taking on Hertha BSC, who are currently fifth in the Bundesliga, and we're back at home for that game. But the last episode, ladies and gentlemen, well, we did the impossible, didn't we? We beat the unbeaten Bayern Munich. They were yet to have lost a single game in the Bundesliga, and when they came up against the Black and Yellows, we did it and we beat them in style. We also managed to beat Liverpool 3-1 in the first leg of the quarterfinals Champions League. But before we dive into the action of today's episode, we are now quickly going to slide over to the comment section. So first comment coming in from Chris saying, Chains Newman's kit number from 12, as in Borussia Dortmund, the number 12 belongs to the fans. Otherwise... Great video. Well, first of all, Chris, thank you so much for your comment. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Now, I did go on to ask Chris what this was all about, why number 12 was not used in Dortmund, because, especially because Chris is a big Dortmund fan, and obviously, wherever I am, whatever team I'm managing, there's going to be people that find the channel because they support that club, and they're going to be able to give me a bit of background and a bit of history. And Chris goes on to say, the number 12 belongs to the fans as they are seen as the 12th man in the team. So Dortmund don't have a number 12, it's left to the fans. So we will straight away go over to the squad hub and make sure Newman is changed from number 12. So we will uh, change kit number. Can he come any lower? Is there any free spaces lower down? I'm going to say there's probably not. So we'll make our way up from 12. He should really be a high number realistically because he's not our first keeper. He's also not our second keeper, but he will probably become our second keeper. Is there going to be 30? We'll give him number 30. Why not? So, Justice Newman, our youngster, who has already grown one from 64 to 65, and is potentially, ladies and gentlemen, going to be played as the keeper against Liverpool. I didn't want to play the, play him as the keeper against SC Paderborn because it is a simulated game. But I think I may play him as the keeper in the other two games in today's episode when I am controlling the players. The reason for this is we need to make sure he's been played in five games between now and the end of the season. Otherwise, we fail one of the fan objectives, which we will look over either in the next couple of episodes or the end of the season, depending on what happens. We did look over the fan objectives in the last episode, which was episode 15. I don't know whether we're going to see episode 20 when we do the fan objectives or whether we're going to be ending the season before episode 20 and I'll have to cover it in the last episode. Regardless of that, moving back to the comment section, next comment coming in from Kuro the Creator saying, really good that Dortmund won against Bayern. I agree. But it sucks that Liverpool lost against Dortmund. And what I replied to this is, yes, I'm a massive Liverpool fan, so is Kuro, and, and obviously we did beat Liverpool 3-1. But for me, it's a game. I'm passionate about it. So wherever I'm at, whether I was at Liverpool, Chelsea, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Dortmund, um, AC Milan, Inter Milan, it doesn't matter. Whatever team I am at, I'm focused. So if I have to come up against the likes of Liverpool, which is the team I support, I don't think, mm, I don't really want to beat the team I support. It's a game. I enjoy it and I want to win as much as we can. So yes, I did go on to beat Liverpool and I'm very happy about it. Yes, I am, because I want to win as much as we can with Dortmund. Next next video? Next episode coming... Next episode. <laughs> English, Brad. Next comment coming in from Hydar saying, Great video. Glad you're enjoying it, Hydar, and I appreciate the comment. And a final comment coming in from Sebastian James, and it says, Nice. Well, I'm hoping that means my face, or at least the nice episode. But that is going to do it for the comment section. Hopefully by the time you guys are seeing this video, I think on Sunday we will be recording. I think you guys should be seeing this on the 22nd, Wednesday the 22nd of January. And on the 26th on Sunday, we are going to be recording and starting the first trial of the pro clubs team. So if you do want to still get involved, if you've got an Xbox, you've got a headset, and you've got FIFA 20, head over to the pro clubs trailer video, answer my questions down below, and you could be part of the pro clubs team coming to YouTube. Hopefully a lot of you are going to enjoy it. But as we come back into today's episode, we're away from home against bottom of the league, 
SC Paderborn, and I'm hoping with this lineup, well, we should be able to kill them off, and I'm expecting at least four or five goals from this Bundes Bundesliga, from this Dortmund side. We've got Mopaco Alcacer up top in the striker position, a little behind him. We've got the captain, who's not the captain right now, and I'll go in and change that as we do speak. Marco Reus, we then have Guerra, Delaney, Vigel, and Sancho through the midfield. Let me just get back to correct all this, ladies and gentlemen. And then Schultz, Yunju, Zagadou, and Pizzacek at the back, with Roman Berkey between the sticks. We're still looking for goals from Mario Goethe. We're still looking for clean sheets off Roman Berkey. Hopefully, we can get one against SC Paderborn. As we do get the players warmed up, we're away from home. The bottom of the league. Can we get a result? 3-0. I will take that every day of the week. But Paco Alcacer gets injured. If Paco Alcacer is out for the rest of the season, it means we're not going to complete one of the fan objectives, which was for Paco Alcacer to score 25 goals. Uh oh, big problem. But Delaney just scored a first goal in the 20th minute, taking it to 1 0. Marco Roy scores only 16 minutes later in the 36th, taking it to 2 0. We then have to go a little bit deep into the second half before we find that third, third and final nail to put in the coffin, which of course came again from Delaney in the 61st. Two goals from Delaney, a goal from Marco Royce, and hopefully not a super bad injury to Paco Alcacé. We cannot afford for that man to be out right now. He's been absolutely tremendous for us. Luckily enough for us, Paco Alcacé's injury wasn't too much of a bad one. It was only a bruised leg or something. He was out for two or three days. He is back for the Liverpool game, but unfortunately, he's not fully fit, and neither is his counterpart, Marco Royce. We are going to have to look to take them off, probably in the second half against Liverpool, but we are going to be putting out an incredible team, and I am looking forward to taking on the Red Men back now at Anfield. It feels weird saying that because in the Liverpool cream mode, I say back at Anfield. This time, we're travelling over to England to take on Liverpool at Anfield. We will now attend the press conference and see what the media have to say. I'll then show you guys the lineup we are putting out against Liverpool. Few youngsters, few changes, and a very big start for Newman. 65 overall rated. He is between the sticks tonight against Liverpool. Probably one of the biggest games in his career. It's a quarter-final second leg in the Champions League. It's against the champions of the world. The European champions. Potentially the Premier League champions this year. Liverpool are a tremendous team. And that's not me being biased. So Newman is really going to have to step up. Because he's going to have Bobby Firmino, Sadio Mane and Mo Salah running on him. So he's really going to have to do a good job tonight against Liverpool. But let's see what the media have to say. And then we'll get into the game. Here we are. Ready. We're 3-1 up. Everyone, we're Akanji is in good form. But we see more of him today. Yes, we will. Um, unfortunately, there's no way of just saying yes, no or maybe. You are facing Liverpool at home. You have defeated them in the first leg away by two goals. First leg away. I'm pretty sure we were home in the first leg, but never mind. Um, we aim to win in front of our fans as well. We're away from home. Um, we'll just say that Liverpool deserve respect because it's 3-1, but Liverpool are a team that can get you on the counter and easily turn this round. Mr. Brad, in your opinion, is there a chance to Liverpool win the match against your team? There's always a possibility, of course there is. It's football. Anything can happen. Upset can happen. But I'm hopeful that we are going to get through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And I wonder who we will be facing off against in the semi-finals of the Champions League. But as we get into this game now, in the quarter-finals, second leg against Liverpool, we are going in with our head well held well and truly high. We beat them 3-1 when we were at home, when I was travelling to Anfield, and I'm going to look to do the same. You can see, as I said before, Paco Alcacer and Marco Royce are not fully fit, and we will probably have to look to take them off in the second half. But for now, we've got to send out the big guns. We are going with Paco Alcacer up top in the striker position. A little behind him, we've got the captain, Marco Royce, in the central attacking midfield role. Then Julian Brandt, Delaney Vitz on Hazard through the midfield. Schultz, Tummels, Akanji, and the young man, Mori, at right back in the defensive positions. And then a big, big night. For Justice Newman, he's only 16 or 17, 65 overall rated, and he's in goal between the sticks for the game against Liverpool. Here we go. This is it. We're at Anfield, and we're here to take over and claim what's rightfully ours. 3-1 at home. Let's do it away from home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. It's going to be such a big night for our keeper as well. Justice Newman, I think he's 16, 65 overall, where is he, he must be coming up, here he is, look at the size of him, he is a tank of a man, 
Towers over Marco Royce. Van Dijk at the back. It's going to be a tough one as Bobby Firmino gets us kicked off in his first half. Let's get it on the way. And come on, Dortmund. Trent going to now look to get in behind. Trent is going to get in behind. Ball going to come in. Mori's going to get there. Well done, Mori. Get rid of that Hummels. Ball in now to Bobby Firmino and Newman's got it. Go on, Brandt. Nicely done. A little bit of off button there. Henderson heads it up. Delaney going to head this out. Beautiful. Into the middle now. For Marco Royce, he's going to look and push it out wide. Here comes Marco Royce. He's going to get past Van Dijk. Van Dijk with a terrible mistake there. He slid in and he didn't get the ball. And here comes Marco Royce. I got Julian Brandt towards the back post. Julian Brandt in. Oh, it was close. Close. Good attack. Our first attack of the game. Uh oh, ball in behind is Henderson in now to Bobby Firmino, going to slide in. Here comes Bobby Firmino, well done, Vitzel, keep going. Going to slide in, it's a great save from Newman. Get rid of it, it's Henderson to Mo Salah, it's got to be offside. Is it? It's countered. It's countered. Has it countered? Anfield seems to be bouncing, so I'm thinking it has countered. What happened there? I slid in. Great save there for Newman. I tried to clear it out with Hummels. Oh, of course. I've got Hummels on the line, haven't I? Keeping Mo Salah onside. It's 1-0 Liverpool. And rightfully so. It was a great attack. I'm not going to take away the fact that Newman pulled off an incredible save, though. The lady up there now to Julian Brandt on the inside. Going to go back now through to Julian Brandt. Here comes Julian Brandt. Through on goal. I'm going to hit this with Julian Brandt. It's off the crossbar. Off the crossbar. Right on half time. It's unlucky from the young man, Julian Bram. Here's Manny. Let's just see this out to half time, lads. And we'll look at doing something in the second half. And there we go. Robertson plays it to the captain, Jordan Henderson. The referee is going to blow for half time in Anfield. We've played good football, to be honest. We haven't had as many chances as I would have liked. But defending, we haven't been too bad going forwards. That's the issue right now. We haven't had too many attacks. We haven't challenged Allison, Van Dijk and Matip at the back too many times. But hopefully I'm going to jump back into the second half with Paco Alcacer kicking us off. And hopefully if we just keep doing what we were doing, we will find those important chances. Keep the pressure on here. Keep the pressure on. Well done. Play it out. That's what we want to see. And here's Marlen. Marlen trying to get the better of Van Dijk and Marlen might be gone here. On the inside now. Go again. Through to Hazard. Here goes Hazard. Through on goal. What is Robertson going to do? He's probably going to have to come and attack. Hazard through on goal. Robertson does everything he needs to do there. Mori going to do well. Ball going to come in now. Bobby's there. He's going to head it all the way back to Marlen. It wasn't a great header. Here's Marlen coming now. Marlen going to play it through to Torgan Hazard. Here comes Torgan Hazard. I'm looking in the middle. I'm looking for options. You've got to back off Mario Goethe. Through to Mario Goethe. It's a great save. It's offside anyway. From Delaney, I'm going to go over the top now. Looking for Julian Bram, who's potentially going to have the better of Trent here. Here comes Julian Bram, through on goal. Too much of a heavy touch. And Allison is going to collect it. We're just going to defend well here. We're going to see this game out now. Hazard coming across to help out. Henderson, try and close him down. Here's the Ox. Over to Trent. We've done it. We've done it. I'm not even going to get that excited because... We didn't play well in that second half, if I'm completely honest. I have to say that Newman was incredible. But we didn't play well. I don't know what on paper it's going to say. Four shots, two on target. Liverpool had six shots, five on target. Our man of the match, best player on the team with a 7.5 was Matt Hummels. What did Newman get? Newman got 7.1. You can just see amongst the team, it's mainly sixes. Only a few pushing into the sevens. It was poor from Dortmund, but luckily enough, we've done enough to get through. We do lose at Anfield to Liverpool 1-0, but over the two legs, we have beaten them 3-2. I'm glad we managed to score all those goals as we did when we were at home. Otherwise, we could have been in some serious trouble. On paper, we barely had any of the ball. We barely had any shots, barely had any shots on target. And a 7.5 for our best player from Matt Hummels is poor. And I'm pretty sure... The media are going to pick up on that. But you know what, guys? We win over the two legs, and that's the important thing. We have bagged ourselves a place in the semi-finals of the Champions League. And I am looking forward to seeing who our opponent is going to be. Here we are. It's going to be Spurs, Manchester City, or Barcelona as our semi-finalist. Akanji didn't rise to expectations today. He didn't really, no. Um, ups and downs, we'll say, yeah. Because we, we have had some massive ups. I mean, in the last episode, ladies and gentlemen, we've done the impossible. We beat Bayern Munich. We beat Liverpool. In this episode, 
Okay, we didn't technically win that game, but we sort of did because we won over the two legs. A defeat almost got you eliminated. Um, yeah, we'll just focus on the league now. Focus on the league. We've got a, a tough game up next as well against Hertha BSC. Why didn't your team react after the opposition took the league? Um, yeah, it, it just wasn't our best day, unfortunately. I did feel that. Not many shots, not many shots on target. But we still come away with a win over the two legs. Meaning we are now in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Come on, Dortmund. It's not going to be an easy game. Here for BSC, currently fifth in the Bundesliga. Look at that beautiful stadium covered in black and yellow. The black and yellows are coming out tonight. It's match day 30. It's actually scary now. It's probably only going to be maximum two or three more episodes till we finish the Dortmund career mode season one. And as we do get this first half kicked off with Marlen, let's get it on the way. Lay it off now to Marco Royce. I was looking for Marco Royce throwing goal there. We sadly couldn't break down this here the BSC defence and here the BSC are now flying at us and what a counter attack this is. Close it down lads, come on, don't panic at the back, ball coming in, let's go Newman, get there. Oh it's going to be onto the crossbars, Newman going to get there. It's over the bar, luckily enough for us it was out. Unbelievable, I'm not sure how these players are keeping up with Marlen right now, maybe it's because he's not fully fit. But here the BSC, I like trying to break down a brick wall, look out for the ball in behind. To Marco Grujic, we've got to be careful here. Ball on the edge of the box, into Marco Grujic. It's 1-0 here for BSC. After 19 minutes, we're 1-0 down. The left full man on loan to here for BSC, Marco Grujic, has given them the lead. What is going on? Like you done there, Marco. Over now, let's go straight through there to Brun Larson. Here's Brun Larson now, nicely done. Brun Larson cuts back. Little dink in for someone in the middle, and Boyas is there to clear it out. That's the best attack we've had so far against this team. Through there now to Marlen, who's going to try and roll his man. Stark's all over him. Stark is on him like a rash. I can't seem to do anything right right now. Here comes Kalu again. Pizzek going to try and chase him down now. I'm trying to get hold of him. Going to pull across. Let's get in there now. It's in. I don't understand. I, I, don't, I really, really don't understand. How Kalu's just picked the ball up and run the pitch and done that. I couldn't catch him with, with nobody. He was gone. And Hertha's defenders seem to be able to keep up with Marco Royce, Marlene. It doesn't matter who it is. It's like they've all got 99 sprint speed. I cannot get this ball. And I cannot do anything right. Let's win the head of Pizek. And again, Pizek, you've got to win it again, son. No, it's going to fall to Kalu. Get rid of it. It's 3 now. I don't, I don't understand what, what's going on here. Stark, their centre-back, just scored. I honestly don't understand what's going on. Come on, Siunju, put your body on the line. Royce trying to find the right pass, little back heel now, on the inside now, to Ennis Bardi. Ennis Bardi's still coming, trying to get onto his left foot, maybe. Ennis Bardi looks to bend one! We found the back of the net right on half-time! It's 3-1, it's a beautiful from this. From Ennis Bardi to tuck it away in that top left corner. It's 3-1. It's a long way back. We're really going to have to fuck off our ideas in this second half. If we want to come back and do something. It's a beautiful shot. A beautiful chance. And a beautiful run from Ennis Bardi. His first goal in the Bundesliga. And I do believe his first goal for Dortmund since coming in. And I'm pretty sure his head the BSC do get us kicked off. The referee is now going to blow for half time. I was expecting that. We can hear boos around the stadium. And quite frankly... I don't blame the home fans. It is a very slow day at the office for Marco Ruiz. He can't do anything, neither can Marlen. Unfortunately, every time I try and run with the ball, try and play a little one-two pass, 
The hate of BSC midfielders and defenders are absolutely all over it. I just feel like I can't do anything right right now. One thing I'm going to do is take Marco Royce off now for Mario Goethe, just for fitness. And I think as for the rest of the team, I'm pretty happy to be jumping back into the second half of exactly the same team, minus Mario Goethe coming in for Marco Royce as here the BSC do get us kicked off in this second half period. We need to do something different to what we've done in the first half, that's for sure. Uh-oh, uh-oh, ball down is Selke. No, let's get in there, see Undu, great tackle. Let it go out, Tarpo. Oh, my word. The pressure here is, is just unbelievable, you know. There's Marco Grujic. Got to be careful here now, Selke. Through it, 4-1. What is going on? How? I don't understand how we are getting beaten so badly. s one's going to put a nice ball in. Neiman's going to come for it. Nicely done. It's only going to be punched back out into another player. Nicely done there, Bardi. Bardi going to lose the ball. Mayer into Selke. What am I meant to do? 5-1. The game's broke. The game is broke. I'm telling you now. How? How have we gone and beat the likes of Liverpool and Bayern Munich and we're losing 5 1 to here the BSC? They can't do anything wrong. Here's Mario Goethe now. Larson going on the inside. Larson through there now to Marlen, who's dropped the shoulder. How many times this season have I dropped the shoulder on Marlen and got in behind and suddenly this game, I can't do it? Win it, Akimi. Are you joking? Are you joking? Surely not. Well done, Newman. Great save. Close him down. No, he's through again. Let's go, Newman. Nicely done. Newman's on it. I don't even know what to tell you guys. We've played Bayer Leverkusen. We've played Bayer Munich. Played RB Leipzig. We've played all these big teams. And we've never, ever had five goals put past us ever Champions League we've played Liverpool all the green screen is rocked we've played teams in the Champions League PSG Liverpool and we've never been struck like that and all of a sudden 5-1 look at that when has it ever been known here the BSC can have 11 shots on target sorry 11 shots with 10 on target when has that ever been heard of the only chance we had in the whole of that game, you guys probably won't have seen many highlights other than the one goal we scored with Ennis Bardi and all the Hertha BSC goals. We had one shot, one on target. When have we ever only had one shot? And this is the problem now because something feels different and if this is how it's going to be, we are not going to win the Premier, uh, the Premier League. We're not going to win the Bundesliga. We were fighting and we've just got ahead of Bayer Leverkusen and now it's probably gone. Normally those stats are the other way around. Something is wrong. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really angry and you guys constantly tell me that I'm passionate and I'm excited for the game and yet, and when things go wrong, it angers me and upsets me and annoys me. So I just want to get through this interview, end the episode and leave it there. Something is not right with career mode. Your run is over, now what? Yeah, I'm proud of what we accomplished. Absolutely shocking game there, though. Two matches and no victory for Borussia Dortmund. As here, the BSC proven they are the better team. Um, I wouldn't say that they're the better team at all. I, f I feel like something's wrong with FIFA. That's what I'm saying. Honestly, I've played FIFA for years and I've, I've never felt it's so difficult in my life. Well, disappointing result. I mean, I've had games where I've lost 2 or 3 nil and I've struggled. But that, I couldn't do one thing right. I couldn't even play a simple pass. They get the ball, it was like 99 speed, 99 shot power, 99 stamina. I couldn't tire out the defenders and try and get Marlen in behind. There was no such thing as tiring out the defenders. I couldn't even string a pass together. What are your thoughts on the loss? We were just unlucky. The game's broken, something is wrong. I'm telling you now, EA in the next couple of days, they're going to come out and say something's not right. That's how strongly I feel about that game then. Something is not right. Right, guys, and here we are at the end of a very, very disappointing episode. Really, really disappointing that episode, you know, because it angers me even more that something didn't feel right against here for BSC. It was just impossible for me to do anything. So we lost in our 30th game. Bayern Munich capitalised on it, won their game, putting them now nine points clear. So I would pretty much say 
the Bundesliga is gone. We're still going to have to focus on the Champions League probably for season one. Nine points behind. I think there's four games to go in the Bundesliga. Unless they're going to lose their last four, it's just not going to happen. And now Bayer Leverkusen are only a point behind us. So we can't afford to slip up anymore. And we just slipped up there against Hertha BSC. Had we a won, we'd still be four points ahead of Bayer Leverkusen. And we'd only be six points behind Bayer Munich. But I kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, right? You guys have watched these career modes for years and years and years. Something's wrong. Something wasn't right then. And I bet you EA are going to have to come out in the next couple of days and say there's a bug or a glitch or something. Or there's going to be a new update. Something is not right. It didn't feel normal it felt like a completely different game i didn't feel for one minute like i was playing fifa i've never been so frustrated at a game in my whole entire life but as we end today's episode we will take a look at the games in the next one we take on dusseldorf away from home in the bundesliga for the first game we then have now had announced our semi-finalist it's pep guardiola and co we're taking on manchester city in the semi-finals of the uefa champions league and then we move into the month of may and we finish off against mains 05 jürgen klopp's original club that he took over in the bundesliga for his first managerial position and we're back at home to play them so it's mains 05 and it's dusseldorf let's see where's where or who's where in the league so mains are currently ninth Dusseldorf down in 14th. So I think, with that being said, not that after today, because we played there the BSC and got absolutely tonked, but as far as I'm concerned, we will simulate the Dusseldorf game since they're down in 14th. Of course, play the first leg of the semi-finals of the Champions League against Manchester City. And then we'll take on Mainz, who I do believe were down in, was it 8th or something? Were they in 8th or 9th? They were in 9th FSV Mainz 05. Two massive games where we need to capitalise. Now, as I'm recording this episode, that's going to be the next episode. Then we're going to have another episode there. So, two more episodes. And then there'll be a third. So, literally, after today's episode, there's only three episodes left. Depending if we get past Manchester City and get into the final of the Champions League. If we do, there's going to be... Was it three more episodes? Let me just count that again. So, then this is episode 16. So that's going to be episode 17. That's going to be episode 18. Yeah, so if we get into the final, there's going to be 19 episodes of the Dortmund career mode. So three more. If we do get, unfortunately, knocked up by Manchester City, there'll only be two more. So not too many games to go at all until we do end the season at Borussia Dortmund. I'm just hoping now, I think the Bundesliga is well and truly gone. I really need to focus and put all my eggs into one basket when in terms of the Champions League, like we did at Liverpool in Season 1, we focused on the Champions League after, well, Spurs were just impossible to catch. Unfortunately, it's the same sort of situation here with Bayern Munich. They've just been impossible to catch, and when we slip up like that against Hertha BSC, well, I can't blame anyone else other than myself. But I'm telling you guys right now, if you play career mode and you play on ultimate difficulty, something's wrong. Something does not feel right, and I am very, very upset and frustrated, and I am now going to leave the episode there, ladies and gentlemen. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Don't forget to drop your comments down below. If you're new around here, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family, and I've been Massive Brad. Peace out.